parents found passed out in their car from drugs with their baby in the back seat. Only our Levi Ismail spoke to the store clerk of Lewis Country Store, whose quick action may have saved that baby's life. Paula says that it may have been all of just five minutes before she realized that a child was inside the car at the time. She says all of her attention went to that child and making sure that they were safe. I did cry a little bit, especially when they went to take the baby out. It wasn't instincts or coincidence. I'll see what they're doing and make a move if they need to. Paula Brummett knows she was the right person to approach the car at pump six Wednesday night. I'm just a grandmother and would want anybody to do the same thing for her any of mine if they needed help and were in that situation. In the middle of their evening rush, Paula saw the car parked here with their hazard lights on. The car was sitting here, face, the headlights facing the highway there. Several minutes go by before she decided to walk out and see for herself. They weren't even awake. They weren't conscious. Paula began banging on the windows, the doors, nothing. Inside were Stephen Tant and Florence Bowden, passed out from an overdose. So I opened the door and I proceeded to, you know, shake them, smack them in the face, trying to wake them up and could not, they, they just would not wake up. This is all happening while Paula was on the phone with dispatch. A passerby pointed out a baby carrier in the back seat. I said, there's a baby in the back seat. And so I proceeded to go from the front seat then to the back door and opened it up and he was just sleeping through it all. The Nashville Fire Department arrived and used the overdose agent Narcan on both parents. They were taken away for treatment. Meanwhile, neighbors here say they're grateful for Paula. So she actually saved all of them. Um, in addition to the baby. She won't call herself a hero, but Paula cringes when she thinks of what could have happened. I don't feel like a hero. I just feel like God blessed me and put me in the right place at the right time. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5. Of course, this is just one heartbreaking example of an epidemic made worse by a pandemic. Take a look at the deadly overdose numbers in Davidson County. For January through November of last year, there were 431 fatal overdoses reported. This year, we have already seen 536 fatalities. That's a record that no one wants with more than a month left to go in this year. If you or a loved one is battling addiction, we want you to know you are not alone. For access to help 24-7, call the Tennessee Red Line. Here's the number. It's 1-800-889-9789.